Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turn is speaking to Isabella Ferreira about Crush, which is going to be streaming on Hulu April 29th. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. I love the film, and I'll tell you what I really love about it. There's a lot of elements at play. There's a lot of themes. There's a lot of activities at play. What do you like the most about this film? Do you like the sport track component of it? Do you like the art component of it? Like, what stands out for you? I'm curious about that. Oh, gosh. I mean, there's so many things. You just <laughs> named two of the biggest things. Um, I love being able to play a track star. I obviously haven't played a track star yet. Um, I love, I mean, I've seen the movie as well, and I love all the art components of it. Everything is great. The characters are phenomenal. Yep. The com comedic timing of everything, phenomenal. So honestly, everything. I can't pick just one. Yeah, sometimes you forget like a rom-com, right? Or coming of age, calm is there, like comedy. Like yeah, it's, it's uh, really funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, it, it uh, did you see the, the balance though of it does have the laugh out loud moments, but it also has a lot of heart. Did you notice that when you're reading the script for it? Oh, yeah, I think that's that's why I fell in love with the film, honestly. I mean, reading the script really helped me understand that, you know, this is a comedy. This is something that's supposed to be fun and lighthearted, but it is very grounded yep. and it is very real. Oh, so. yeah, no, I totally agree with you. It's interesting because during this pandemic, we have been doing a lot of self-reflection. I feel like this film, a lot of the characters, including your character, are doing a lot of self-reflection, trying to figure out what's going on and kind of figuring out um, what's happening in their life relationship wise and everything um, is a little bit of a full circle moment a little bit where we have been doing a lot of self-reflection and here's a movie a lot of us can relate to that has to do with a lot of like self-reflection. Have you thought about that at all? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I feel like my character especially really goes through that. She she starts the film all kind of like loving attention and, and love, be, love being the center of attention. Um, and then she ends it realizing that like her actions probably, she should probably think about what she does because, yeah. you know, it does affect other people. It's not just about her. No, absolutely. So this is a film that's going to be on Hulu on the 29th and it is uh, the production company. It's an American high production. Right. And I'm a big fan of a lot of the American High films. Um, you knew early on when you signed on to the project, right, that it was an American High film? Yes, I okay. did. I did. I was extremely excited because I've heard so many good things about it. I've had friends that have either been in uh, an American High production before, just really good stories overall. I heard that it was just extremely fun. And that's exactly what it was. It was I'm just a lot of fun. Were you kind of hoping that you were going to be able to work on a lot of different projects that have different genres or does it kind of just happen a little bit like the comedy, the drama, the action, like, does it just happen or is that something you hope for? Um, it, it kind of just happens. I mean, <laughs> you really never know where you end up, <laughs> but, um, as long as I really believe in the project and, you know, I happen to sign on to it, I guess all as well. <laughs> Is it interesting to look at a film like this where the coming of age is right there? Um, the, the love triangle is there as well. What can you tell us about what you hope the audience take away in terms of the love triangle component of this film? Well, I think one of the biggest themes of the film is basically to just follow your heart and stay true to yourself. So I would definitely hope that anybody watching, any viewer watching, um, the most important thing they know is that they just follow their heart and stay true to themselves and the people around them. Was it kind of a little emotional to play a character? We're not going to big spoilers, right? But it's a <laughs> roller coaster of emotions for your character specifically. It, it, it They're going to see it begin to end. You know, your character with everything kind of happening, you know, <laughs> go, there's ups and downs and everything. Is it emotional kind of pre like preparing for a role like that, knowing that it's going to be a, a roller coaster of emotions for your character specifically? Yeah, I mean, I think with any role that that I take, it's it's always a process of like figuring out who this character is and what she's going to have to go through. And it can always be a little bit draining, but I think that's just all part of the process. And for Gabby specifically, as I said before, you know, she started off as this confident girl who will do anything to just be the center of attention. And then she ends off in a state of understanding of, you know, just being more aware of her surroundings and the people that 
it affects. In terms of kind of when the film actually gets like released on Hulu, there's these like kind of waves and flows of like announcements and craziness and social media posts. Like I remember when this like project was like announced and then the casting yeah. and then there's a poster and trailers. Now it's finally coming out. It's pretty crazy. Like, has it hit you that it's finally coming out? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't think it's it's hit me until about two days ago when I found out that my face was going to be on like the Beverly Center and somewhere in like New York Times. And I was like, what? Are you serious? Like, am I really about to have a billboard right now? And uh, being able to share it with like two extremely talented actors is just an amazing feeling as well. So. Yeah, I was about to say, what was it like working with Ali and uh, Rowan on a film like this? Um, it was amazing. I mean, they're both extremely talented. They both put their all into the characters that they are given. Yeah. And um, I mean, it was great. It was it was amazing. I mean, you know, AJ's like AJ um, played by Ali. I mean, it's it's a character that, um, like we kind of said a little bit, everyone's kind of finding themselves a little bit. Um, I feel like that character is doing a lot of self-reflection. And your character is just, because the sister, like your character is just, thrown in so to speak is yeah. it? <laughs> which is interesting yeah. as well is that interesting too where your character is like involved even if we don't see your character like on screen like your character is like really like always there in terms of part of like what's happening right have you thought about that at all <laughs> Right. I mean, I mean, it's true. She always is. I mean, that's the premise of the of the whole thing. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's so crazy. Um, what's your favorite thing about working in the genre of comedy specifically? My favorite thing, um, I think, is just learning new tactics and, yep. and new ways. You know, I, I got to work with a lot of amazing and talented comedic actors on this film, especially. And I think I, I learned a little bit from everybody, you know, just watching. I think that's my favorite thing, just observing. Absolutely. Isabel, this was a blast. Thanks so much for coming on Pop Turn and chatting about Crush. This was great. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. April 29th on Hulu. Where can people follow you on social media to keep updated with everything? Instagram, probably? Yes, I have an Instagram, the Isabella Ferreira. You can follow me there. I also have a Twitter, the Isabella Rose. Um, and yeah. Awesome. I, yeah. Stay tuned. Be the sure 20th. to watch. No, be Crush sure. on the 29th. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, for sure. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, Isabella, Isabella Ferreira, who you're going to be able to catch and crush on Hulu April 29th. And PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.